Don't settle for less. Don't just do one thing because it's comfortable and you're just meeting the requirement. Do more because you're helping yourself and not anybody else. And you're gonna thank yourself in the future. We need to let it go. to my channel today I want to talk more about the whole co-op program at my university and what it is about and how it is like to be a Drexel student like I said in a previous video if you've watched it and I will link it right here I am a Romanian student I'm an international student and I'm currently a third year at Drexel University in Philadelphia Pennsylvania the reason why I chose Drexel University was because they offered this co-op program. The co-op program is a cooperative educational program and I will explain what it means. Co-op is a program that allows students to alternate academic studying with hands-on experience. Basically the year is split in half so for six months of the year we go to school and for the other six months we have an internship called co-op. Internships usually last for three months and a lot of them are unpaid while co-ops last for six months and most of them are paid depending on what you apply for. Now as Drexel students we have three options. First option, we can either choose a regular path and not choose the co-op program and go to school for four years, have regular summer breaks like any other student from the United States or any other country. Choice number two, we can choose a four-year one co-op program, which means that we go to school for four years. The first and second year, everything goes as regular, so we go to school fall, winter, spring. And in the third year, we split it in half six months in school the other six months at work end of senior year which is the last year again we go to school regularly or choice number three we do a five year three co-op which means that we go to school for five years and in the second third and fourth year we split them in halves so sophomore pre-junior and junior year we do six months of school and then six months of co-op each year this is basically what co-op means i hope i didn't confuse you too much it was very confusing to me at first but after i understood it it seemed like a great opportunity to meet employers while in college make a lot of connections, gain a lot of experience and knowledge and skills. So I thought, why not? This is great, so let me apply to this university and fingers crossed. Like I said, even though I was accepted to other universities, I thought that due to the fact that I moved all the way from Romania to America for school, I chose school before fun or parties. That's just me. But again, the co-op program is a great opportunity to gain hands-on experience while in college. Now, depending on what major you are, you're assigned to a certain co-op cycle, either spring, summer, or full winter. Since I'm a psychology major, I was assigned to a full winter co-op. So I would go to school in spring, summer, and then I would be on co-op in full winter. Since I decided to switch it up a little bit and start this pre-med track in order for me to be able to apply to medical school after I graduate from Drexel, I had to switch my cycle. I had to make an appeal, write a letter to a comedy and get an acceptance for them. And then I could switch my co-op cycle to spring summer just because most of my pre-med classes are offered during fall winter when I would have usually been on co-op which didn't work for me so I had to switch it so now I am a spring summer co-op so I'm currently a third year out of five years everything is done through the Drexel system so the whole process looks like this for each cycle there are obviously different dates different deadlines but 
right now i'm just going to refer to the spring summer co-op cycle because that's what i'm currently doing so this whole process starts around the end of october at the end of october if you go on the Drexel system, you can find a lot of job postings. These are companies and businesses and employers that are affiliated with our university. So you don't need to reach out to them outside of this Drexel system because they already know what this co-op thing is about. Jobs are posting based on your major and your citizenship, whether you're an international student or not, and based on where you want to work, either in Philadelphia, where the university is, or outside, you can find a lot of jobs. You have a cart in that system. In that cart, you can add up to 25 jobs. You don't need to apply to 25 jobs, but in order to have high chances of getting interviews and getting a job, you need to take advantage of this number and add as many as you can. When you look for jobs and add them to your cart, you can see the whole description, the description of the employer, the job description, what you would do, the requirements, whether it's paid or unpaid. They don't tell you how much they would pay you in case they are paid, but they tell you that they are paid. And they tell you whether they're part-time or full-time. After about a week or two, after you apply, you can go back to that portal and you can see what interviews you got out of the ones that you requested. In most cases, you need to contact the employers that gave you an interview personally, send them an email that is provided in that portal and ask them what would be a good time for you to schedule the interview. After you schedule the interview and go take the interview, there is another two or three weeks until you can go back on that portal and see if you got any offer. Now, the good thing is that there are three rounds of co-op. This one that I just talked about that starts in October and it lasts until I would say the beginning of January. This one is A round. There are also B round and C round. For the spring summer co-op, B round starts around the middle of January. And if you go into the B round, and the same thing happens and you don't get anything, don't get discouraged. There's another round or C round that starts at the end of February. So you have three chances of getting a co-op through the Drexel system. Now, you can also apply independently. I advise you to do that if you want a job that is not posted in the Drexel system, but, and I'm telling you this from my experience, please start early. When you apply independently, employers take a very long time. I did this for my second co-op and I started about three months before my co-op start date. I applied to 200 jobs and I didn't really hear back from any, but not because they were declining me, but because I should have applied way ahead of time. Now I will talk a little bit about my first co-op. It started in 2018, it lasted for six months, obviously. My first co-op, again, I was a full winter co-op cycle, so I had to work between September and the end of March. I started my first co-op at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. It was an amazing experience and I'm so grateful for it. I am so grateful for everything that I've learned and for all the people that I met there, amazing people, great professionals. I worked in the PACU. PACU is the peri-anesthesia care unit. Basically, it includes pre-op, post-op, and the operation room. Since I want to do surgery in the future, that was my dream job. I was a nursing co-op student. That was the name of the job, even though I'm not a nursing major, but I was doing a lot of administrative tasks such as IT stuff, PIV audits, projects, presentations. I took minutes at various conferences and meetings. Minutes are notes, basically. I shadowed physicians and nurses. I was in constant contact with patients. Even though I was doing a lot of IT stuff, I had the opportunity to shadow as much as I wanted. I was not micromanaged whatsoever. Obviously, I was doing everything in time and I was making sure it's correct and it's well done and it's submitted way before the deadline. 
So with the rest of the time that I had, I could go shadow doctors and learn something new in this field. That is why I think that this was an amazing co-op for me. It was also a paid co-op. It wasn't a big salary, but it helped me pay for my own rent and expenses for those six months. Another thing is, while you are on co-op, you don't pay for tuition, but in the same time, you don't receive any scholarship either. So those six months, since you're not enrolled in school, you do not pay tuition, obviously, so there's no reason for them to give you a scholarship either. What you do pay for is this school tax for Drexel. I think it's around $900 per quarter, if I'm not mistaken. A co-op is equivalent to 16 credits per term. At Drexel University, we are allowed to take a maximum of 20 credits per term. Since co-op is equivalent to 16 credits per term and the maximum is 20, if you want, you can take a course while on co-op, an online course, obviously. A course that is worth up to four credits if you want to get them out of the way. If not, you're more than welcome to just be on co-op and have nothing to do with school for six months. That is totally up to you. I have no idea why this is happening to me all the time, but my camera's memory card is full now and it would take a very long time for me to download everything on my laptop so I was able to get involved in a lot of other things while on co-op so you have your regular schedule depending on the employer's preferences my schedule was from I believe 8 to 4 or 9 to 5 I was doing 8 hours a day but the schedule was very flexible and my employer was very flexible I got involved in a lot of other things while on co-op and I kind of changed my schedule because of that and I started working earlier at around 5 or 6 a.m. in order to get out of work early and go do these other things during the day as well I was telling you about the people that I I worked with a chop and how good they were to me they really helped me with references and with resources because through them I was able to get involved into research which plays a big part if you want to apply to medical school or be a healthcare professional and then I also started this unpaid internship at Hanuman Hospital in Center City. I was basically in the emergency department, in the emergency room, and I had to find patients that were prone to sepsis. Sepsis means infection. And document them, get all their information, put everything in the system, and enroll them into a study. Again, I had the opportunity to meet a lot of people there and just get exposed to the medical setting, which is exactly what I needed. So if it wasn't for CHOP and for my co-op, I would have never had the resources to do all these other things and gain all this experience. Of course, it was exhausting waking up at 5 a.m. every morning and working all day and coming back at 9 p.m. because I was also doing boxing, like two hours or three hours of boxing at the end of the day, but that's irrelevant. Anyways, as I was saying, it was great experience and I will never regret making those sacrifices and going through all that because I have all these skills and all this knowledge now, so I'm very happy I did that. I'm very very happy I took the initiative and I advise you to do the same don't settle for less don't just do one thing because it's comfortable and you're just meeting the requirement do more because you're helping yourself and not anybody else and you're gonna thank yourself in the future if you want to come to Drexel University and you think that this program can help you achieve your goal or at least enhance your skills and feed your curiosity you should definitely do it and now that you know what co-op means what are you waiting for thank you for watching this video if you liked it and if you think it helped whatsoever don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and also share it kisses